Hey there everyone, it's Linnea and I'm back with another video for ThermoWeb. And today I'm going to be using some of the new Deco Foil Flock Transfer Sheets as well as this stencil. This is Gina K, the Crazy Daisy Stamp and Stencil System. I'm using the stencil and also some of the new Pixie Spray. So to use that, I just flipped my stencil over, sprayed it um, in like a sweeping motion right across my stencil, and then I push that down onto my cardstock. Now you see some purple tape there in the corners. That is not to help hold down the stencil. The Pixie Spray does an amazing job of holding it steady while you do inking, or like I'm using the Deco Foil Transfer Gel here. The purple tape is there just to cover up the edges of my cardstock because I tend to get a little crazy with my palette knife. But you'll see as I remove that stencil, absolutely no tearing on my paper, which is great. I love this super low tack spray. I think it's awesome. So I'm going to be using this Simon Says Stamp stamp set because I wanted to have a kite be the feature of my card along with the deco foil flock transfer sheets. So I stamped the kite, the little cloud and the sun and the little sentiment bubble there. And I'm using a mix of Copic markers and Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. It's what I have in my stash, so I encourage you to use whatever you have, whether it be watercolors or if you like the, um, the watercolor markers or Copics like I'm using. To color something that's meant to be white, I just usually take a light gray marker and go around the edge and then come in with my colorless blender and blend that out to the middle and that will soften the edges. For my kite, I'm going to be starting with my darkest color and I'm using this new um, marker system from Spectrum Noir. It is three marker colors in one so I don't have to dig through my Copics anymore. I just have all my markers right here. And so I color starting with the dark and I blend out to the medium, and then I go all over with the light. There's lots of different ways to color. I am by no means an expert. I just do what feels right to me. So I would definitely encourage you to check out somebody who's better at Copic coloring and alcohol mark coloring if that is what you're looking for. I just do the basics, dark, medium, and light with um, really no variation in between that. So I colored in my little kite, and now my background piece is dry. Whenever you use the deco foil transfer gel, you want to set it aside for about two or three hours and it will turn from white to clear. And that's how you know it's ready to go. So I'm using the deco foil flock transfer sheets and I'm using every color except for the white and the black. There are eight colors in total. There's a pink, an orange, a yellow, a green, a blue, a purple, white and black. And I'm just going to cut some strips with my paper trimmer from the colors. Whenever you cut these sheets of the deco foil flock transfer, you want to make sure that you have the pretty side down and then cut your strips that way. So I cut strips and then I cut those strips into smaller pieces. So I have a bunch and I'm actually going to have some left over. So you're going to have a little bonus card. And I'm just arranging them at an angle over top of that stencil design. And you're gonna see me here add some little strips of purple tape. I am only adding that across the flock transfer. I'm not putting that onto my card base at all because I'm not sure how that adhesive will react in my laminator. I'm just using that to keep the strips of the flock in place. Now, I made a mistake here. I set my laminator to three milliliters and I think it would have worked better if I had done the five. Because you're going to see here, as I'm removing my flock transfer sheets, they are light, but I liked how it looked because it almost gives a pastel look versus the bright that it's supposed to be. So I definitely kept this as is. I love how this looks, and it doesn't rub off. I think it's super great. So I cut out all of my little images, and I arranged them onto my card base and now I'm using the iCraft Ultra Bond clear liquid adhesive just to glue on all of my pieces. This has been my new go-to glue since I used it for the first time a couple weeks ago. It dries absolutely clear and super strong and this bottle 
I haven't had any issues with clogging, so I love it a lot. For the little sentiment bubble, I grabbed my Foam Squares by Gina K Designs for ThermoWeb. I really like these because the box is super easy. It pops them out so you can easily grab them. And the foam is dimensional, but not super dimensional. So that is this first card using the Deco Foil Transfer Gel along with the Flock Transfer Sheets. Now I had a bunch of strips left over and I didn't want to go back into my packages and I hate when I have little strips of things just floating around. I would much rather make a bonus card. So I'm using the Gina K dot adhesive runner and I'm just adding some tape runner adhesive to the back of these um, flock transfer strips. And then I'm just pushing them down onto my card. I colored up another little kite. I kept it white this time because I thought with all the color in the background, I wanted to just have a white kite. I glued it down with the iCraft Ultra Bond Clear Liquid Adhesive, and I'm using the Foam Squares by Gina K for ThermoWeb again to pop up that little sentiment bubble. And I'm gonna pull in my second card here, and these are both my cards using the new Flock Transfer Sheets. I hope you'll head over to the ThermoWeb blog for more information. Thank you, bye.